Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Today we're going to make an old favorite. Today we're going to make spaghetti and meatballs. But let's start with the meatballs. Today we have uh, extra lean hay fed ground beef. And we're just going to put that on here. We're going to make sure the cowgirl's locked down and we're going to put this on stir. You're going to need a cup to two cups of breadcrumbs. Let's get our seasonings in here. We're going to put in about, about a tablespoon of onion powder. I don't put, sometimes I put diced onion in, but sometimes I'd rather save the onion for the sauce when I'm making a sauce. We're going to put in a tablespoon, or well, half a tablespoon of ground garlic. A three finger pinch of salt, a couple of good brines, fresh ground black pepper. We want our meatballs to have separate flavor from the sauce. Now we're going to add one fresh egg. It's really simple meatballs. And about a cup to a cup and a half. Uh, breadcrumbs. This is from my uh, two-day-old sourdough, so it's going to good use. All right, we're going to let this mix, and we'll see you guys at the table because I'm going to sit down and roll my roll my meatballs. All righty. First off, we've got our crock pot because yes, that's how we're doing it, and I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil right into the bottom, just so that our meatballs don't stick. And whenever you're doing um, a crock pot recipe, you really, really need to put some kind of liquid in the bottom of your crock pot. So now, and it's only about 12.30 in the afternoon. So this is one of those things you can make up and uh, put in the crock pot and let it simmer until about three or four o'clock and then you add your sauce. All right, folks, here's our crock pot meatballs, and we're going to put these on high for a couple of hours, and then we're going to start preparing the sauce. Okay, let's get our veggies ready for uh, our sauce. They won't be, I don't put anything in with the meatballs until um, they are mostly cooked, but you know what? I can remember people when I was growing up that would just open some meat and some onion and fry it up and add a jar of sauce. Now, yes, folks, I do use jarred sauce, okay? Sometimes I make it, you know, from scratch when I'm canning and stuff, when I have a lot of tomatoes. But jarred sauce, especially if it comes in a glass jar, is not a big deal because it's what you do with the jar of sauce that makes it your own spaghetti recipe. So there is our onion. Let's do our pepper. I haven't washed these veggies yet, so that's why they're all going into this strainer, because we're of course going to wash them. And since all we have in there for green is green pepper, I don't discount onions. Um, I always count them as a vegetable, but I like green. So let's cut the tops off of these. And now I'm going to take the bottoms off this celery and I'm going to try and sprout this. So when uh, after this we'll uh, do that, but this is going to the piggies. Whatever I don't use of the celery, and we're only going to use a few stalks, but whatever I don't use, I'm going to put in here I'm going to put some water in this and put it in the fridge, and that will keep your celery fresh. Remember to curl your fingers when you're getting close with that knife, folks. You don't want to take the tip of a finger off. Alrighty, I'll be right back. I'm going to go rinse my vegetables, and then I'm going to show you the seasonings I'm going to put in. Okay, here's our vegetables. Now, like I said, we're not going to put these in right away until the meat is more cooked. But um, I've got my peppers, my onions, 
my celery, and I also have uh, a can of mushrooms I drained and put in there. Here's what I've done with my celery base, okay? It isn't, I can't tip it to show you. It's in a jar, and I've just put the bottom in the jar, and I filled it up to the rim with water so that a good inch of the rootstock is in the water. And let's just see what we can do with that, shall we? Now, we're just going to, to our veggies, we're just going to add, of course, some of my dehydrated flake garlic and some parsley and some Italian seasoning. This is pretty much just oregano and basil and I'm out of basil so we're just going to just put a little bit in there because I'm not overly fond of a lot of oregano. Alright, so when the meatballs are more cooked, we'll add that. Alrighty, here's our meatballs. And they're quite nicely browned. So, now we're going to add our vegetables with our extra seasonings. Then I'm just going to add, oh, and get it open, a jar of, just a jar of spaghetti sauce. Remember folks, it's not necessarily the sauce that you buy because you make it your own. And I'm going to add a jar of just plain pureed tomato sauce. Now rather than a wooden spoon, I'm going to take a spatula because I don't want to break up my meatballs. But I just want to kind of get under them just to let the sauce, if you can see it bubbling, that's the air bubbles under the meatballs coming up. I'm just going to add a little bit more garlic because we love the garlic. And some fresh ground pepper and a three finger pinch of salt. Isn't that beautiful? Alrighty. We're going to leave this on high for another hour or so until it comes up to a simmer and then we're going to turn it down to low and we'll see you guys at dinner. It's spit and go on night and there is our wonderful spaghetti and meatball sauce. Yummy! Let's get down to the table. Let's have a look at this wonderful spaghetti and meatball sauce. Ooh, look at that. A little bit more salt. Extra, All right, let's put some bread. Parmesan cheese on there for Papa. Stick a fork in her, she's done. You can help yourself, Brian. Or you can help me. Wow. Can you not taste it before you put the pepper on, please? Everything gets pepper. Everything. Now you try those meatballs. They're they're a special. I don't do meatballs that often. Hot. Mm. Very tasty. Spaghetti and meatball night. You gotta love it.